Here are six things in Las Vegas that sound like scams, but are totally legit. The first is resort fees, and this is gonna make a lot of people mad. But if you're a tourist who's just using the property as a resort, you should pay a resort fee. If you game on property, there are many ways to get out of them. I'll list some in the comments. Number two is tipping in advance. To get the best tables in a restaurant with the most iconic views, you need to tip the hostess at least $20. These are very nice restaurants offering free shows, and you're not gonna get to see them if you don't pay up front. You wanna do the same with hotel front desk and concierge if you want the best rooms. Number three are all of the free attractions. I'm talking about the Bellagio Conservatory, the Wind Lake of Dreams. You might assume because they're free that they're lame, but they're not. They're designed to bring you in and they are multi-million dollar attractions you should make time to see. Number four are the $10 tattoos offered by Coolsville. It sounds shady, I know, but they are totally decent little simple line tattoos and they make a great souvenir. It is a limited selection of what you can get for 10 bucks, but it is worth it. Number five, the guest list. You can add your name to get into clubs and pool parties for free by either using the discotheque app or working with a promoter. They do this to make sure the clubs are always full. You may have a little wait to get in, but it is legit. And number six, each resort has its own free players club. Signing up for it should be the first thing you do. It's how you get free rooms, food, and show tickets. I'll explain more in the comments. Which of these have you done? Let me know and follow me for all the Vegas.